Yeah, my name is Mike Umshide. Uh, this is uh, my booth here at the National Storm Chaser Convention, which I guess we call ChaserCon now. And where are you from? <laughs> Dodge City, Kansas. And uh, I've been photographing uh, seriously uh, ever since I got my first SLR camera uh, back in 2005. So I entered basic photography in the digital age. And uh, since 2005, I've seen and photographed some pretty amazing. Uh, atmospheric spectacles, if you will, including tornadoes, supercell thunderstorms, and just high plains thunderstorms and lightning. Uh, here's on my wall here is a sample of some of the work that I've uh, photographed over the past several years, including some daytime lightning images and uh, supercell updrafts of the Texas Panhandle, as well as uh, uh, some other <coughs> landscape scenics. Uh, uh, like this image from Colorado with the wildflowers, but uh, but yeah, I've uh, basically am spending a, a number of uh, number of weeks and many many miles uh, photographing anywhere from Southwest Texas up through the the length of the High Plains. Uh, uh, northward to up up as far north as the Canadian border, if it, if, it, uh, if the uh, if the uh, uh, pattern uh, uh, supports it. So uh, usually I take uh, focus most of my efforts in June. Uh, June is typically when uh, the best high plains weather uh, occurs, anywhere from uh, basically west western Kansas all the way up into Montana. Yeah, I guess so. Some of my best best images have actually come from Wyoming and Montana, which are not really traditional. Uh, storm chaser alley uh, uh, areas where most of the <coughs> storm chasers tend to focus their efforts on, like Kansas and, and Oklahoma and whatnot. And, uh, and of course, you're quite the forecaster too. Quite the forecaster, yeah. And my this is just a, a serious a side hobby and a side business that I have. Uh, uh, I'm a meteorologist, a lead forecaster at the National Weather Service in Dodge City, Kansas, and I've been there for uh, six years now since 2002. Or some people may recognize you from a certain event. I think some people may recognize <laughs> me from a certain event, uh, a la May 4th, 2007, uh, the Greensburg tornado event. Uh, since I was uh, on duty during that event and uh, was behind the radar issuing the warnings. Did incredible. Work, by the way, thank you. Was, uh, yeah, it was uh, one of the most impressive supercell thunderstorms and tornadoes uh, associated with that storm. I mean, it's just four back to back to back to back giant tornadoes over about a two and a half hour time, almost three hour time span, uh, the night of May 4th, 2007, including the Greensburg tornado. So, now, like in a professional aspect where you work, how often do you think you're going to see something like that? That was probably a career event, and it happened early in my career. So I, it, it, anything that comes in the future is always going to be compared to the Greensburg event. Right. Because you probably never thought you'd see anything like never, that. Never, never. Even researching old events that have occurred in the past, trying to recreate, you know, old reconstruct old events like the Woodward tornado of 1947. That was a storm very similar to probably the Greensburg storm. But that's probably a two or three decade type of an event uh, on the plains is the Greensburg. So that was a good event. learning thing for you professionally as well then. It was an incredible learning experience and in fact I'm still pouring through the data trying to uh, piece together just the chronology of the event and what actually all happened. In fact I'm still <laughs> discovering some uh, uh, accounts and, and videos from some, some storm chasers and, and seeing something that I hadn't picked out before from other chasers videos like satellite tornadoes and other accessory tornadoes because that, that storm, the Greensburg storm, produced upwards of 25 to 30 tornadoes. Unbelievable. Just, just from that one storm over about a four hour period. We may never see another one like that in our lifetime. Unbelievable. That's crazy. Okay, so now if somebody wanted to get one of your prints, how would they do it? If someone wanted to get one of my prints, um, I've it's still in the process on my website. My website, by the way, is www.underthemezzo.com, and I showcase all of my uh, photography work on my website. And I'm still in the process of setting up a storefront on my uh, portfolio page. So very, very soon, people will be able to order online. Uh, but in the meantime, at the convention, uh, I've got uh, uh, prints available in glossy 8x12, and I've got 
upwards of 100 uh, to 130 uh, uh, glossies available for people to choose from, and those are going for $15. And they look so much better in person than they do on video, because the light's <laughs> reflecting on it. Yes. They, they're very nice. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, this is this is the type of stuff I enjoy, I really enjoy doing, just sharing. You know, here's some real amazing color yeah. there from a storm in You have New a Mexico. lot of incredible uh, images. But uh, and here's an interesting uh, fog bow. Oh, that's nice. Fog bow formation uh, in Grand Teton National Park of all places. So uh, and then of course your classic wall cloud in Kansas. But right. uh, uh, aside from that, uh, these matted, uh, double matted uh, pieces on the on the wall here going for 125 dollars. And there's there's I sign uh, title and number uh, these individually. Uh, Are any of them limited number? Uh, I, I do open editions. I don't do limited editions. Okay. Uh, so I'm just basically keep them open. And uh, in the middle top there is uh, uh, a piece that I call Between the Ears. And that is a uh, image of a uh, lightning flash between uh, two peaks of makeup. A uh, <coughs> mountain formation called uh, Rabbit Ear Mountains, just north of Clayton, <laughs> okay. Clayton New Mexico. And... Uh, uh, the, the finished frame piece there sells for $395, and I've got another... It's very high quality stuff. And the dual, what I call these dual are, dust... This one just came out what these, I call these aren't prints off jets. your printer, this is, good, this is the good stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. so this is uh, dual dust jets, also sells for uh, 395 and, and I want this uh, one personally, I really like this because I've seen something like it a couple of times. Yeah, it, it's very, very, I mean... Look, we've we've seen supercells with these with the channeled inflow jets, but very rarely do you see the mirrored dual channeled inflow jets coming in from opposing directions like that. It really helps you visualize the flow into the storm. Oh yeah. Excellent tracing. Good stuff, yeah. man. I appreciate it. So that's my Cubshot photography in a nutshell.